All right, here's a little thing that I thought I'd show you. I kind of got something new with this. I've been toying around with this quite a bit. I got some Discover Eyes. See what that's doing with no pull. Not a thing. Well, anyways, if you look at my other videos, just to recap for anybody that's new, I got a wash machine motor here. It's 12 pole and it's three phase. I hooked it up on these little wires down here. You can watch the other videos. I tore it all apart. But I am making little amounts of power out of this thing. So what I did was, with my new stuff here, I actually wrapped coils, wires through here, and I did a different kind of design, kind of like an S design. But what's cool is I ran the power from this to these things, and huh, it's actually going quite a bit faster. So what I did was just now I hooked a, um, well, you know, what do you do, Hoogie? up to just one leg and I got three of these legs one two three I could pull from just to see uh what was I actually getting from it and I was pretty surprised now this is on high volt to 200 or so I wing a lot of my videos. It helps when you hook the freaking leads up and make sure they're hooked up right. Yeah. What's weird is I'm getting this from uh, it goes up quite a bit more too. I think it shrinks it past four. But that's going pretty fast now though. But I'm getting it three times from the back. And let's see that little jumper box there too. One thing I did, okay, I'll do it live. All right, now I got this thing right here, and I'm gonna take it from the jumper box, and I hooked it to the coils I got on there. I wrapped a couple different coils up just to see what was up. I thought it'd be cool to have coils around the motor, and then it would do something. And you could probably wire them different ways. There's a site called the Back Shed or something. Try to add a link to that or a page right here. There you should have been able to see something I found. Screenshot, I don't know. But anyways, they have different wiring schematics, and that is cool. So you can wire that up and get different results. And then if you hook a bridge up to this thing, which I don't have all the parts for that, you guys could send me some parts, that'd be cool. But a bridge connector, and then I could hook one, two, three to a bridge, and hook that to a bridge, and then <laughs> I got the front here. I could do something with that. And I looked at these little boxes. Let's just show you a picture of those. There you saw a picture of those, I hope. Anyways, I was gonna put that on here and run three stators on it. And then possibly pick up coils on the side. I don't know what for, but this thing's making power. All kinds of ways. I was showing my friends for a long time too. Now three bars. So I've been running this for a long time. And I just, I don't know. Now it's got the power hooked to that thing now though. So I'm pushing power through it and it's going a lot faster. It's, it's a little spooky. Whoa, no, it noises, man. Oh, look, that thing's hooked up, too. So that's making some voltage there, too. And it's on the S pattern. Um, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but let me describe that real quick. So this thing is going a lot faster now that I'm throwing power through it from itself. That's what I'm trying to say. It's <laughs> so the S pattern, uh, I don't even know what they call that. It's some kind of weird wine. What I did was I wrapped a bunch of coils up at once. And I did three times, or four times really, got nowhere with that. So what I did was, while I was doing it, I was like, what if I just wrapped in between the clothes? Like, is that a thing? I researched it, couldn't find really much online at all. So I said, screw it. So I did it, and then I ran out of wire. Because, you know, I'm cheap. <laughs> so I ran out of wire, so I only got so high. So I was like, what if I just wrap more uh, coils onto the top of that 
coil and that was making fire too so i linked them all together and wow only did 17 wraps of this little tiny 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 wire so it probably needs to be 40 wraps or something but and this is neat and then you got uh three poles you can do that with so you can do like a group of two and hook it up or a group of one or four or y connected delta connected there's a lot going on here guys anyways i'm trying to do a fast video sorry to get it all out like this so fast but hey you gotta do what you gotta do my little coils are wrapped down there with 17 wraps is making quite a bit of good power. That's 15 volts enough to charge with right there. I think you guys are seeing what I'm saying. And I got this like a bunch of different times, but I tried linking them all together to see what happens. That's why I need the bridges and parts. But I just hooked them all together because, um, yeah. Because I know you'd want to see that. I literally hooked all that stuff together though. I'm at 20 volt. I think it's surging it. Where is it going? Okay, that's, that's pretty fast. I just want to stop right there. And it died. See the inverter? Yeah, it was the inverter. So guys, the only issues I'm really having is with this thing, by cranking it up. And what I did was I shorted uh, these two all out. Oops, sorry. So I shorted all these out, I shorted all these out, and then I shorted the coils I wrapped in there out. All I did was, I, I put this tape between the, uh, it was made in Taiwan, so that ain't good, but I, I put this between the motors, and then I wrapped this stuff around it. And I only did 17 wraps, and I skipped two, and I hit one, and it's only on the top of my S ones. Or my, I don't know what you call that. I've seen them use pieces of metal between there, though, and it worked, too. Not even wire. Just copper sheets. It was a weird design, so that's where I kind of got the idea. Other people have made stator motors before, too, but this one's running on 18 volts. Look at the power again out of that. Booyah! I got 18 volts. Let's go to 200. 200. So she maxes out it. She stops making power, kind of. Has like a power for oh, 28. Oh, right there, 29 is where my limit is. Let's go down a little bit. Well, that's 17 wraps of that, and that's what that gets you. So you know. Hope that saves you guys some time. And you are learning stuff, ain't you? Now these guys, I just hooked all together. And I was running tests on those. I was just trying to link everything together at once and it wasn't really doing much. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta try it. But anyways, I'm getting power all over the place with this thing, which is pretty amazing. It works. We're pushing 25, 6, 27. And then my inverter. I'm really maxing this thing out though. But if I guy just did like, let me just turn it off on. 12 volts, you know. What does it take to get it to 12 volts? Right there. Then we go like, regulate it down just a little bit. No, up. 12.5 I guess is where you want to be. And I don't know what the RPM for that is, but I still got two more legs and then I'm pulling power from this stupid thing. I'm pulling power from this thing and this thing and this thing. It's got a multiplication of power. And another thing too is I can hook the front deal up here and uh, more power. I don't know guys, I'll do this one day and have it all done, but I'm just trying to let you know where I'm at with it. Not a lot of power because the coil wraps have gotten loose, but it's almost couple volts right there that's why I need to bridge this stuff oh this is on this one now by the way it's on the pink wire but what's weird is that wrap design is making power you just you got to see this stuff it goes around the back side of the coil and then the front side of the coil and the back side and the front side and I did it just count them high. One, two, three, four, five. 
Kind of ran out of wire. I could have went you know, ways further, it looks like. And then you can see the other coils that are wrapped too on the top. Those are making power too. Might as well wrap some here or some there. You see the tape I put on there too to separate the motor from the, I guess, stator. <laughs> I don't know, it's a motor stator. And then I can hook these things up too and make even more power from the little areas once I bridge it. I don't know, guys, something here. But all right, you smart people definitely take this and roll with it. I know you will. Good luck, guys. These things are kind of cool. I got to admit. So, another thing I want to test. Every time I keep testing stuff, I'm surprised too. So, I just showed you those little boxes earlier in the videos. So I'd like to hook one up on this side and on that side and probably run three stators, which are three phase as well. Same thing on this side, and this thing can be three or four phases, which equals probably 21, 22 phases. Either that or just simply throw two stators on each side and run the motor. Make it a nine or ten phase. Everything would have to be bridged. I don't know. But I'm kind of impressed with these things, and if something pans out, hey. <laughs> awesome possum. I don't know if this will bog it down, but I might have to actually add... I might have to plug it into an inverter or something, but we'll see. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this motor, though. I gotta say, with everything I've been running up against, and if I fail somewhere, it kind of gives me an opportunity to change it and advance further somewhere else. So that's how it's been going. I like these. I recommend them. But there's liability involved, so yeah, don't hurt yourself. Don't do anything weird. In fact, don't do it at all. There. <laughs> I'm probably going to miss some stuff, and there's some design things I want to try, so. But I'm just going to make the video quick, so. Hope you guys get it. If you have any questions, ask. I actually forgot to mention there's these hall sensors. I know you can see them. Yeah, it's going to be these hall sensors, though. Um, they use them for these e-bikes, but they're spread out further for the magnets on these things. I'll show you them real quick. I do get a good question, though. Well, you think the um, with the stator wires being there, it will mess up my hall sensors? I don't know. That's a good question for you guys, though. So. All right, thanks.